Hi, this is Steve from Big Bear Bushcraft. So it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. A lot of things have been happening in my life. I've uh, just been out uh, um, on holiday for a week at the moment. Uh, so just going out for a little work recce. Uh, there's a stream just down here to my left and we're just going to go a little recce. There's all bluebells out at the moment and uh, we're going to see what we can find down there. Uh, see if we can do maybe an overnight camp or something. See if we can find something of interest. So come along with us. You may find my wife cuts in on the walkie talkie from time to time. She's just up at the caravan at the moment and she's just we're just trying to work out the uh, distance on these very cheap little uh, um, little walkie talkies just to see how we get on. Uh, now what we found here, we just come down here once before earlier today when I was walking the dog. Um, on the end, at uh, the edge of this uh, field here we've got the horses you saw before. Uh, there's a string that's running in between and then you've got the next farmer's field but there's this bit of, like, little bit of like no man's land in between and that's where we want to sort of try and get, uh, get down in between. It follows the uh, stream down. Also there's a lot of sign of deer about. We've seen some deer here earlier uh, so we want to sort of see if we can find anything more about that so that'd be nice if we can do that so So we've crossed the, uh, the stream now, and as you can see behind me, we've got this little area of no man's land here. There was obviously a, a fence running down here a long time ago, but it's, as you can see, it's completely gone now, really. Uh, so we've just got this like, nice little alleyway, and what's lovely, as I said before, deer seem to be using this, and a lot of animals we've seen down here um, seem to be using this. It's just a beautiful area that people won't n normally go, so it's finding little areas like this that make uh, bushcraft so nice when you discover little gems like this and explore them. So you look at this uh, this area here, absolutely beautiful. Some of the things you'll probably quite quickly notice, there's been a lot of animal sign around here. Uh, as the caravan just went through, you can see there that the bluebells have been uh, moved around. Uh, it's, you've got all sorts of things down here, but you've got badger, fox, deer, rabbit, all making their trails through this. As soon as you start looking at these things, you start to notice where the animals are going, what they're looking at and it helps you as well because there might be things that they're going to that you might need uh, it, just for you to be able to watch nature I mean that's a big part of being out in the wild isn't it is to be able to find where they're going so you can set up a small camp nice and discreet sit back over uh, the crossroads of all these different tracks and uh, see what you can find now just down here we've got this use um, it's either going to be a fox or badger set there I would have said so we've got something down there um, all sorts of things happening here. And it's only by being observant, being quiet, just trying to work your way through it slowly, not being in a rush. But we're very easily able to uh, become we live in a world basically where we're inundated with all advertisements of all sorts of things happening to us all of the time that we become very focused because we don't want to allow our our vision to be spread out because we wouldn't be able to take it all in so we become very narrow one of the things that uh, I've seen it's not something that I'm saying I've done I've seen this many times but people talk about having your arms outstretched and standing there until you can see looking straight ahead your fingertips it causes your eyes to widen out, you get a wide perspective, you're not narrowly looking at anything. This does, a help, does very much help you with looking for wildlife, looking at the different trails, different footprints, looking for all sorts of different things to help you in the wild for uh, looking at different animals. These little tricks, these little tips, they really do help out, I know they help me.
you think this place is really pristine and it is it's lovely but just look down there immediately you see things that man's done these things can be very harmful so we need to make sure we can remove as much of this as possible I mean think what that can do to an animal so we're just going to fold that up and put it in our pocket it doesn't take a lot to take away with you it just keeps everything nice and simple and nice and safe So some tricky footing around here, uh, logs, branches, all sorts of things covering holes. We've just gone over, a, there must have been a badger set, uh, and there was some tricky footing there. But following these tracks, the animals do it for a reason. Follow them in an example. Don't think, I'm human, I know better than these ones. They do this all day long, every day. They know where to tread and where to do it safely. So just follow the tracks and you'll remain in a safe path. So we've come to a bit of an impasse here, haven't we? So I just need to take a look. I don't know if you can see on camera, but this is extremely steep. Extremely beautiful. As you can see, the animals have used this to get down and up. Unfortunately, they're four-wheel drivers, we're two. So that means we need to make sure that uh, we do anything very slowly. As I said before, slow is the key. Um, if you're out and about, I mean, Anywhere in the UK, you're not too far away from uh, real help. But any time you're out, outdoors, you want to make sure that you're in the safest possible position. <laughs> 